a little follow up uh, to yesterday's video here on EMF stop. So I spent the day at uh, the beach today and I met a gentleman who was putting some sunscreen on. And I asked him, I said, uh, I noticed you putting sunscreen on. Obviously, you have an awareness of uh, protecting yourself from sun exposure. The radiation coming off the sun um, can damage our biology. I said, have you ever heard of EMF? And he said, no, I'm not sure what that is. And uh, I said, EMF, it's uh, the electromagnetic frequencies coming off the electrical devices around us, be it cell phones, radio towers, laptops, Bluetooth devices, countless. We can't even name them all. They're all around us at all times. We've become integrated with technology. It's a part of our lives for our work, uh, how we communicate with the people around us. So there's no escaping this. Um, he said, no, I'm not, I'm not, too, uh, not too worried about that. Uh, from what I understand, uh, it doesn't affect us uh, in a negative way. And uh, obviously I was uh, a little surprised by that, uh, but I'm kind of used to it because from speaking with people, people haven't really thought of the bigger picture, which is, exposure from the devices around us over a longer period of time. So we're the first generation that are that is dealing with what I would call overexposure from the devices I mentioned um, over years and years and years and years and years. So there are no scientific studies to explain to us the effects of EMF exposure in its totality, not just one device. There are studies regarding cell phone radiation exposure, uh, laptop radiation exposure, but the accumulation of exposure over a prolonged period of time, that does not exist. And that's the issue, is that this question is not quantifiable unlike the radiation coming from the sun rays. A little food for thought.